Hello all. So today we will proceed uh, to the next phase of our power view. Okay. So previously we have discussed about something like introduction of power view. So you have remembered those things. Okay. So I will just overview. So what is bi what is stages what are the stages what are the various types of uh, bi tools why power bi then what are its versions today we will discuss further about the power bi query and power bi desktop okay so let's come to the power bi application okay so <clears throat> first things first so first for every uh bi tool or to do any analysis what we have to do first thing that we have to import the data the organization or the company will provide some data yes or no then we have to import it so they can provide you uh, data in different sources like the common sources are like excel workbooks okay so sql server I am just discussed about the common tools okay then text or csv see those are text and csvs then web or data feed sql server here if i click sql server then you have to place the server name here the database then we can import uh, through import query or direct query or some advanced yeah, options yeah, 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 so, yeah. so now we will take one thing we will just import one sample data set okay so power bi already provided some sample data set so if i click here and load the sample data then two tables are opened okay one is financials and one is sheet one i will just click in the sheet one and click in the uh, load data okay so here all the data are loaded in the field okay so it will take some time okay so 701 rows are imported okay so sheet one we have different columns but uh, if you check into the data then you can observe that uh, the first thing column comment comment <coughs> those are not proper because if we check that the data types are different here the column headers are also not self-explanatory okay so first we have to do one thing just uh, uh i have to close the data okay don't save just i will reopen it now it's also taking some time okay just wait for some time okay it's opening so it's a product of microsoft as you have already know now just do one thing i will do the same thing try sample data load sample data and then i will do one thing i will do i will select the sheet one then i will instead of load the data i will transform the data when i click the transform data uh, it will move to the power query editor not power bi sheet okay power query editor our query editor is a etl tool inbuilt in power bi okay so what is the full form of etl the etl stand for extract transform and load okay so here <coughs> you can check that uh, we have uh, 
uh, everything in our ship but there are some um, something uh, which are not properly initialized okay just uh, check the first row first column second row second uh, first row second column first row third column means every first row things it's mentioned that it's segment it's country it's product and in the second row the name is like government means it's a segment country canada it's a country okay germany is a country so you have already observed that the country the first row uh, should be in the place of the column header yes or no this should be in the column column two's place the country should be in the place of column two so we can do one thing we can either we can delete the color uh, row one and just uh, rename it into segment okay we can do it like that also segment okay then like here we can do c o u n d r o and we can just do one thing we can just uh, remove row remove the top rows okay and one okay so it's already gone but you have so many columns say 16 columns so uh, editing every column removing every rows is little bit difficult so we can do one thing see here we can also learn about the applied steps when we click the cross button in the applied steps we will move into the previous step okay what we have changed again we have closed the same thing then we will get the previous data means our uh, imported data okay so instead of converting uh, instead of deleting the first uh, row and renaming the column names we can do one thing we can just click use first race header just check here now every first row will be header and we don't have to modify anything okay so our first problem is done so first thing is done so one of the etl process is little bit done okay so extraction of data is already done transforming is already uh, means one part of transforming is done now in the second phase what uh, we have to change okay we have to think just everything is fine but just check here the data types are not mentioned okay so we can convert the data types like uh, we have converted the data type into text here also we can convert the data type into text here also here the data type is like decimal number here the type is like whole number then we can also move here date we can convert it into date type month number and everything so uh, there are 16 columns so uh, means changing every uh, columns data type will be a little bit hectic if you will get 100 columns then it will be like um, a mess okay so we can do one thing power bi is very easy okay it's a simply uh, click click method okay drag and drop click method so we can do these things very easily by selecting everything and clicking the transform and just detect the data type okay the power query will automatically detect the data type of every columns okay just check here yeah okay it's what it's a whole number but in the date thing it will in the date format profit will be like in the decimal number cog is in the form of whole number then we also check one thing just check unit so this is in the whole number now product is in the text format okay so everything is done okay we can also 
change the sheet name like sheet one instead of sheet one i will con uh, change the name into what sales okay S A L E S sales okay there done it's done like that so <coughs> our query is very essential to where we will import the data and we will transform the data we will organize the data we will manipulate the data okay and we have several functions like uh, removing column choose column keep rows remove rows replace values append queries so we will discuss them in our further videos so till today we have learned why we will use power query then how we will import some data set okay how we will move into the power query then how we can change the first row into header then how we will change the data types into different data types and uh, if we have a large number of columns then how we will convert the data types in a single click okay those are those are our today's um grasp over power bi so we will discuss further uh, in our next video so please subscribe the channel and like the video if you like it and please click the bell icon okay to check out our further notification okay thank you have a nice day